Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can write, store, and recall notes on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. To do this, we'll use the shift key that looks like this, located here, the menu key that looks like this, located here. The alpha key, that looks like this, located here. The F1 through F6 keys, that look like this, located here. The EXE or execute key, that looks like this, located here. And the exit key, that looks like this, located here. To get to our notes, first we have to go to the main menu. So we hit the menu key, and then we scroll over to E activity and select that one with the EXE key. That brings us to this screen here. If we have notes already, they'll be listed here. If we want to start a new one, we hit F2 for new. Now we can name our note. We see here at the top of the screen we have an A with a lock on it. That tells us our alpha key is engaged, and when we type, we'll be using the red letters above the keys. Let's call this one test. There we go, we've got a name for our note. If we want to put a number in there, we can hit the alpha key so that the alpha lock goes away and we can enter a number. So we'll call this test one. There we go, we're done. So we hit exe and now we have our note. Let's make this one a grocery list for some things we need to pick up after work or school. First thing we want to do is turn back on our alpha key if we turned it off. If we don't see the A up there, we can turn it on with the Shift Alpha. Now we see the Alpha lock there. And the first thing we need to get is some bread. So we just type that in. Using the red letters in the top right hand corner of the keys here. There we go, we've got our first thing. And we can go down with the EXE key. There we go. The next item on our list will be milk. But in this case, we don't want to do it all in uppercase letters. We want to use some lowercase. So we'll start with an uppercase M. And then to switch to lowercase, we use F5 here with the function upper and lowercase. So we hit that. And we see the A has turned into a lowercase a. There we go. There's milk. And next we want to get two eggs. So to get numbers again, we go alpha to turn off our alpha lock and hit the two. And then turn back on our alpha lock. There we go. Put a space, we can hit the decimal key here and then enter eggs. We can also enter various other characters or symbols with this. If we hit F4 for characters, we see this entire list. So we got a number of math characters here. A number of symbols here. You know, we got our exclamation marks, our question marks, even our spades, clubs, hearts, and diamonds for cards. We got our Greek letters, our lowercase, and our normal letters as well. So if we want to enter one of these in, we just highlight it and hit the exe. To bring that up.
there we go. There's a number of other characters we can include in our notes. Once we're done writing our note, we can finish by hitting the exit key. It'll pop this screen up asking us to save the file. If we want to save it, we hit F1. And there we go. Now we see it appear on our main screen here. So if we exit out of this back to our main menu, say we're working on some equations here and want to go back to our note, we can go menu, scroll back to e-activity, select it. There's our test one note, so we can go down to it and select it. And there we go. We're back in our note. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.